you basically said, listen, you know, things aren't going great at Sears, but you should always be beware of shorting the stock, especially into earnings, because the thing will pop. And just like you said, stock is up big today. Do we have the chart here? It was up like 8 or 9%. It was up 11% earlier in the day. Right, right. Does this mean that Sears actually, oh, God, it's only up 4% now. Does this mean <laughs> Sears actually has a future, or is this just more of the same from Eddie Lampert in terms of financial engineering? Well, it's really dangerous to bet against the man. Well, it's not uh, dangerous to bet against him. Not over in the very long run. Right. Over the last three or four years, I mean, it's been a good bet to bet against Sears. That stock was trading, I think, close to 200 bucks once upon a time. Certainly 170, 180. It was down there in like in the 20s, like a year or so ago, correct? Right. Let's look at that. Oh, I can't. That stock's. <laughs> All right. Is that a 10 year stock? I can't. That's not telling me very much, though. Oh yeah, there's 200 bucks in the middle, but then as you can tell, it was down and then it pops. And but it's the, the, the trend well, has not been your friend. The trend hasn't been your friend, but the you know you, you look what the market is is, is valuing Sears now. So it's not just not just play. that not You're just that he like can a do the liquidation th play. Well, a very, very slow liquidation. But first of all, the company's not about to file for bankruptcy. It's doing all right. I mean, it's you know, it's in a slow decline. It's no J.C. Penney, which uh, not to pat myself on the back anymore. I came out but you're, you're, negatively you're on two days ago. You had no interest in that on your show. No, but anyway, I didn't. I didn't. But, but uh, now, now all of a sudden, you're taking, yeah, you're you're taking like two good, victory laps. Right. Well, let me let me yeah. ask you though. Have, when was the last time you were at a Sears? Well, I've been at a Kmart recently. No, there's no, I, there's I, no I, Sears I, in my general area in New okay. Jersey, so my I, you know, but I used to that, love going to Sears. Do you think Sears is a well-run retailer? I think that, um, you know, Eddie Lampert micromanaged. He had some silly ideas about how to run a retailer. You had this revolving door in the executive suite, and he made a lot of mistakes coming in. Because retail is the kind of business, you know, you and I, we go shopping. You think, like, I could do this better. I know, I know better. I don't if think If you know that. a little bit of, well, well he, way, he I, thinks I that, and he's think not that. the only one. A lot of, a lot of hedge fund managers have stubbed their toes on that, on coming in like borders and, and what have uh, you. And going a, there's in, a little chart there. That shows the underperformance of Sears. Sears, absolutely. as a retailer, has not, has not had a good five-year run here. No. No, I mean, he, he uh, on that front, he did, he did a bad job. What he is uh, very good at is managing a hedge fund. He's made money on Sears because he got it through, <laughs> yeah, through buying. But you, yeah, he made money on right. Sears, but you tell that to anybody who piled into Sears stock over the last five years. It's been terrible. No, I'm not, you I'm tell not that to the it. thousands of unhappy Sears customers, the thousands <laughs> right. of unhappy Sears employees. I think you're well, going to have I, to go back and revisit this column. Listen, my De point. My defend point. Eddie Lampert. Listen, if you, you put ten grand into his fund when he started, uh, for example, you, yeah. you'd, be, you'd have two yeah. million dollars. Yeah, and if today. I bought Apple t uh, six years ago when it was at ten bucks, I'd be I wouldn't be doing the show with you. 